you can't tell, it's been a long time since I've cleaned up here. Even my panels are just covered with dust. But there's a, a reason for that. Um, you know, plugged into power, I'm not using the panels as much as I should. And so they spend most of the day in float mode. So I don't want them to get full potential right now. And it's real easy to rinse off. I've just got to, you know, wash everything. There's just a little spit on my hand. You can see how easily it that just washes right off. It's just dust and ash from the fire. Um, I didn't realize it was quite this bad, though. It got worse after the fire. But that's not what we come up here to show you. We put the cool seal on, and it's actually making a difference keeping this cool. It's uh, slightly warm to the touch. I just noticed a crack forming right here. I can't see the screen, so I'm not sure if you're able to see what I'm seeing, but I'm going to have to put some um, Dicor in those cracks, but I've got Dicor. So what we have here, hopefully this is going to read properly, is my digital thermometer. What's 105? I haven't turned it on yet. Okay, it says that the roof up top with the cool seal is 104. Now, let's see what it says on the side of the motorhome. 125. Yeah. I would say the cool seal makes a considerable difference, wouldn't you? Did that show up well on camera? Let's do this again. 125. Uh-huh. And with the cool seal... 109 up here it's still a, a, a huge difference and during the day it, it let's see what it says over here back to 110 okay i guess it was only 105 right in front of me because the shade of my body had been shading this for a second but that is one of the best improvements i've made for this motor home i'm gonna have to come up here soon and rinse it off though even though i didn't want to rinse off the panels just yet i do need to rinse this off because the only reason it's even that hot is because of the dirt that's on here. If it was um, clean, it would be more reflective and it would stay even cooler. Uh, I can feel over here where I've put a little decor here and it's cleaner. It's not as hot as it is right on top. No, actually, even here, the cool seal is still cooler than the decor. That's amazing stuff. Even dirty, it's still cooler than the decor and cooler than the and considerably cooler than the white paint on the side. So it's not just the color white. There's something to that Dicor that really makes a difference. I said Dicor when what I meant to say was Cool Seal. Um, slip of the tongue. Anyhow, the Cool Seal made all the difference in the world. Even here inside, you can see a difference. Now this this is down by the floor with the air conditioner running. The 99 is what I'm pointing at right now. Um, normally that 99, which is up here near my roof, when it's 100 or near 100 outside, it's all, it used to always be 10 degrees hotter up near the roof inside here. Now it's actually a little bit cooler inside up near the roof than it is outside in the heat. Which is, if you've lived in one of these for long, you know how amazing that is. Now I have yet to test it with just fan ventilation and open windows. I've been plugged in using air conditioning. But I am going to test it soon and I expect similar results when I do that. Uh, if you want to see the video where I put the cool seal on, um, just look back. It's, I don't know, about six months ago in my older videos. I might put a link down in the description. I've never done that before. Um, I'm not even sure if you can. I'll find out in a few minutes, I guess, right? Um, so, yeah, I can see from looking in here that there's a huge difference. We've seen from outside what a difference there was. And the stuff's also great for sealing your roof, which is the original reason I bought it. Right now, I'm really, really glad that I bought it for the cooling effect that it has. But the main reason I bought it was just to seal the roof leaks. They make something similar for fiberglass roofs. This is for the aluminum roofs, the one that I bought. Um, uh, like I said, I'll show you in the other, I'll, I'll link in the bottom my other video where I put the cool seal on. It might be a two-part video. Uh, if so, I'll just link the first part and then you can find the second part yourself. Or it might, you knowing YouTube, it might automatically direct you to the second part. 
But um, yeah, if you're sweating right now and you're in a, an RV or a motorhome, or if you're getting one ready and you want to be prepared for the heat, for the price, there's no better deal. It's spelt cool with a K, K-O-O-L-S-E-A-L, Cool Seal. Um, Henry's makes a similar product. Um, uh, Dicor makes a, a similar product, both of which are elastomeric roof coatings. But I preferred the Cool Seal for a variety of reasons. The long warranty, the great reviews, and the good price. That's why I went with that over the other two options. The Dicor was a little more expensive, and the Henry's was about the same price. But the Cool Seal seemed to be used on a lot of recreational vehicles with great success. And I'm really happy with it. I've still got more. I bought five gallons, and I only used about half of that to do this roof. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest. I've thought about coating the walls with it, but it gets dirty so easy. If I ever do anything with the walls, I'm just going to paint them. I did put it down the front and the back, and that's how I know how fast it gets dirty. And I'm sure that's helping my cooling situation too. But anyways, um, do whatever you want. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. And um, yeah, when, when you're hot, do whatever it takes to get cool. Another really neat product that I've been using for years, um, you'll just have to Google this yourself if you're interested, but it's made by the company called Frog Togs, and it's called the Chili Pad. Um, it's basically a towel that holds water, and it doesn't leave you wet. Um, you can wet it, and it'll stay wet for hours, and you can put it on your neck or lay on it, and it keeps you cool, and uh, it doesn't feel wet to the touch, and it doesn't squirt water out of it once you've wrung it the first time. Really, really unusual material, but it's a great product. Uh, I may do a full review on that thing before long here. So as soon as you wet the material, as you see, it's still hard over here. But as soon as you wet it, it becomes as soft as a blanket um, and cold to the touch. Actually cold to the touch. If you hold it long, the area where your skin is against it will turn warm and you'll have to flip it. But just flipping it to the other side will allow it to be cool again. I usually keep it draped over my neck or spread out on my sheet and I'll lay on it. Then you think, well, doesn't it make your bed wet? No, that's one of the great things about this material. Even though it holds the water in and keeps you cold as if you're wet, it doesn't actually put water out on your hand. It doesn't actually get you wet. Um... And the whole thing, I think, was like $10. That's what the box looks like. They make a new, larger version now for about $20, which is the size, I guess, of a full towel. I haven't ordered that yet, but I plan to really soon. Um, I'm a big fan of Frog Tog stuff, but this material, whatever they're using, this product has been a life... Damn it, I forgot to turn the notification sounds off. Oh, well, sorry about that. This product has been a lifesaver when I've been stuck places where it's hotter than I expected it to be and I didn't want to run the air conditioner. Um, so that's something, if you can't put an AC in or a fan or even cool seal, anybody, if you can afford gas for your van, you can afford $10 for something like this. <clears throat> and the level of comfort that it provides, I, I can't even put into words. Again, the company is Frog Togs and it's called the Chili Pad Cooling Towel. I've had other products over the years that you wet and they're supposed to keep you cool. But they had those gel beads in them that turned slimy or they had, they would squirt water out on you. This stays wet for a really long time. It holds the water in. I don't know what the material's called, but it's, it's awesome stuff. 